Hello, this is a quick primer on how to use Google+. Plus. Um, this is not meant to be a be-all, end-all um, video on how to use it. This is a quick primer for my clients and for anyone else who's interested. So you go to plus.google.com, you say join Google+, Plus or sign in. So you click on sign in. Now when you sign in, you have to, you have to log in with, um, now up there you'll see Simplify Your Life with LastPass. It's just this plugin, you don't have to use it. It's just up on my system. Um, you sign in, so I'm using my stuff under Goldstein Media at gmail.com. Please don't spam me. Okay, now when I sign in, you can either say sign in, save sign in, or don't. You click sign in. Now this is strictly for me to sign in. I have two-factor authentication set up. So please bear with me for a second as I, as I add in my enter entry code. This changes every time, so you will not be able to enter into Google Plus without me, you know, using this code at any time. This changes every single time we do something. So I do suggest saying two-factor authentication on a regular basis in your browser. It's a little bit annoying, but it works out for the best. So pretty much you log in. So as you can see, this is my um, this is my stream, it, and you'll see during this cast that it commonly updates on a regular basis because I do follow quite a few people. Up here you'll see I, I'm also an administrator of nine pages. Uh, we'll get to the pages in a second. Uh, up here you'll have you have the home page, that's where your stream is. You have the picture of photos and where you, where you can see your photo gallery and whatnot. Here's your profile page where you can manage your circles, which I do suggest you manage, and then the game section, which we're not going to go into today. The search box is right here. Your notifications are up here. You can click down and you can see notifications and whatnot. If you click off, they will disappear. The notification number will disappear, but they are all still there for you to look at. So, when you initially want to post something, you can go click on the stream, pull it down. You'll see that you know, I have the follow in the public, you know, visible to anyone who's adding you to a circle as well as on your public profile. Um, you can also close this out and then do it to any you know, of your many circles we have going down here. I have 41 circles that I manage and whatnot. So, but generally, if you know, for business purposes, you want to post publicly if they've been public, and you can go to public here. Now, what you do is, if you want to add a photo, you can go click photo, add a photo, to photos, create an album, or from your phone. There's different options that you know I'll trust that you can play around with on your own. Video, you can upload a video. You can go to get the YouTube video. You can get from your phone, or you can now you can record a video directly from your your camera to Google Plus immediately in your stream. It's handy for quick updates as well. You can always add a link, and then you paste the link in, and then if you paste the link in, you will then see a, a thumbnail come up like this below with an image if it comes with the image and the a quick little bio. Uh, if you are mobile or you allow your browser to track you um, where you are at your location, you can say um, it'll pop a little thing saying allow once. I'll show you your location where you are. This is actually nowhere near where I am, but it's you know, based on my IP address. Um, you can add that in there to log into where you are. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to do that. It goes X out if you want to change a feature. So you post it up. Our next come down here and post the um, public or post in your stream, it, and then it goes to a specific um, circle. Now, if you want to see what you've posted or edit your profile, you click on profile. As you can see, I did some interesting things with you know different you know each of these boxes here. Each of these boxes can be edited, edited to show different things that you're interested in and whatnot. To edit your profile, you click Edit Profile. It comes to your bio here. You can fill your bio. It comes with a little WYSIWYG area where you can edit your bio. Edit all the other profiles. You can click on them and add them in there as well. Um, hopefully, this is helpful to people. You always gonna hit save. You can also set the privacy levels of stuff there as well. Um, you can also edit your photo here and whatnot. Now, if you want to add photos, you can always go to your photo album area. You can show this tab in your profile, allow viewers to download my photos, and so on and so forth. Who's automatically able to, to view this link in your profile? I have it restricted to just people who are in my circles. So you can edit those, edit those different things. Videos because the same thing. Plus ones are the same thing. The plus ones are the things that you see the little plus one button on external websites. So we can go back here. We can get done editing. Um, you can also edit your little blur below here as well. So this is all based on your pro pub, you know, your personal profile. If you want to make a business page, you scroll. You go back to your mainstream here. 
and you scroll down and it says, it says create a, a Google Plus page. Now, you can either choose a local business or place where you can fill in the, the primary phone number. It's going to look for your Google Plus page. If you want to do a product of brands, so let's say you're doing a specific brand, you can fill all this stuff out here as well. Company organization and follow the steps pretty much here. If you want to then add someone after you make your page, like I said, this is going to be a, a pretty quick primer. You'll see, as you log in, you'll see these nine pages you're available to go see. So let's go to Goldstein Media. That's my, that's my website. That's my company website. My company brand page here. You'll see everyone who you, it looks just like it does on your personal page, only now this is only on dealing with Goldstein Media's page. Um, like you said before, you, you can do, go over here and edit the profile for the, you know, the page for Goldstein Media. You post stuff in there as well. Um, you can edit the profile, add different links, same thing as it goes with the personal page. But um, if you want to add some to admin, and I suggest my clients do this all the time, go to the little options bar up here. You click to Google Plus Settings, and you'll see in the settings, you'll see Managers. Now, you want to add a, add a, to add a manager, you type in the manager's name. So let's say, let's say S. Goldstein at Goldstein Media. Media.com. And then invite them. That will then invite them to be a member of the page, and they will have full editing control. What they can't do is, without transferring the ownership, they can't delete you as the owner of the site. So you still maintain some control. You can also go through these settings and adjust them accordingly um, and go through there. So that's a quick primer on how to use Google+. Plus. Um, if you have any questions, you feel free to connect with me on Google+. Plus. You can find me on Google+, Plus by going to Seth Goldstein. It says S-E-T-H-G-O-L-D-S-T-E-I-N dot me. Um, that takes you to my Google Plus page. You can send me a message, ask me questions anytime you want. Check out my blog at SethGoldstein.net. Check out my, um, my corporate website at Goldstein Media goldsteinmedia.com and you can find me all over the web by just typing in Seth Goldstein in the Google bar. I hope this is helpful. Um, be sure to you know, circle me on Google Plus um, and I'll be posting other um, posts later on. One quick thing before I leave is make sure you do edit your circles and put people in categories accordingly and add them. So that's a big plus as well. If you have questions again, Seth Goldstein.me and send me a message through Google Plus. Take care guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.